but if it's red, you stop. And my car suddenly stalled. I was driving along, I stopped for the red light, and all of a sudden, boom. Whoa. Suddenly, with no notice, it didn't say, get ready, your car's going to stall. No, it suddenly stopped running. The motor stopped. Stall. But after a pause, a pause could be a couple seconds, could be 30 seconds, it could be a minute. But it's not a long time, a pause, a brief pause, a short five seconds, or let's say in this case, 10 seconds, I was able, I could, I could, oh boy, I was able to start it once again. I was able to restart. But I made a decision. I had to do something. I can't take this. It's driving me crazy. I can't take it. So I decided to cancel the trip. Cancel off. And across town, uh, across the city or across town, and instead, instead of, in the place of the trip across town, I decided to do something else. Instead of going to see my brother, I decided to do something else. Instead of going to see my brother, I decided to have the vehicle, the car, the vehicle, vehicle, car, be big, same deal here, check out. What does it mean to have the vehicle check out? Yeah, take the car to an auto repair shop or a garage, an auto repair garage, garage, and have somebody, an expert, let's say a mechanic, look at the car, the engine, to see what the problem was. So have it checked out. Somebody look at it. You could see like, the vehicle checked. You could even drop the out. Just have the vehicle checked. Somebody look at it and see what the problem was. Why did it stall? So instead of going to see my brother, I thought it would be better, safer, and wiser to have the vehicle examined by a professional mechanic to see why it stalled. Checked out. When you go to the grocery store, to the supermarket, you would go to, and you buy all your things, you would go to the checkout counter where they would boop. Look at each one, run it through the scanner, and add up all the money you owe. Check out, check down, check it out. Why don't you go check it out? Go take a look. It's an expression you hear quite often. Any questions about this? Suddenly stall, it means not to work. Stop to work, not to work. Suddenly stall? Not to work. With no notice, and out of the blue, so to speak, suddenly, stop, stop running. For whatever reason, the car stopped running. It stopped. But after a few seconds, when I tried to start it, it oh my gosh. But maybe there's something wrong. Why did it stall? I don't know. I better have it examined. I better have it checked out. I better have it checked. So there's different ways to express that, but this is one. Any other questions about the uh, words? Pronunciation? Not stop ed. Stop. It's stop. After After a pause. A pause. A pause. Yes, like the pause of the cat. The pause. The pause. The pause of the cat would be P A W S. But this is the same pronunciation, pause, but it's P A U S E. Take, for a brief pause, a pause can be very short, it could be a couple seconds, or it could be a minute. We will take a brief pause for five minutes, something like that. Stop. Yeah, stop. Pause. 
Yeah. Same pronunciation as the animals. Pause. 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 Short time. Short time. Short time. Yeah. Do you know uh, another country cannot have traffic lights? Do I know another country yeah. that doesn't have traffic lights? Yes. No, I don't know many countries that doesn't have traffic lights. Otherwise, it would be India country. Huh? I think India country. India? India country. No traffic lights. I can't imagine that. It must be crazy. Nobody's. Following the rules, stopping. Teacher, how to say beep there? Teacher, pin, 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 pin. How to say no traffic light and only horn? Beep, 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 beep. How to say? How to say? Well, I mean, if there's no traffic light, I don't know. It must be totally chaotic. I mean, it must be crazy. How can you have? You have to try to scare everybody to stop so that you could go forward. You know, beep, beep, mer uh, siren, rrr, rrr, rrr. Um, yes. It, it would be crazy. You couldn't survive. I don't know how you could do it. People on the, on the road run, run too fast. <laughs> run. I don't know. I don't know how you could live, uh, have traffic without stop signs or stop lights or something like that. You try to control it. Any other questions about the words? Pronunciation? Light, 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 light. Not right, not right, but light. Light, right. Did you pause? Long or short? Sound. Pause. 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 After a pause. I was able to restart it. After a pause, it could be five seconds, ten seconds, even twenty or thirty seconds. A pause is just a brief period of time. It's not an hour and a half, a few seconds, a minute, two minutes. We'll take a brief pause and then start up in, in, in two, three minutes or something like that. Stall, stop, traffic, light. Right. Cancel the trip across town and instead, in place of the trip to see my brother, I have decided to do something else. Instead of it, I'm going to have the car checked. Peter, how about across? Across means go to a different city or in, in the same I city. was driving across the city. Here's the, here's the city. Okay? That's the city. And I live here, and my brother lives here. So I'm driving across the city when I stop and the car stalled. So instead, in place of continuing on to see my brother, I decide to go to the repair shop, to the repair garage, to see a mechanic to have him examine, to have him check out the car, the vehicle. So you're driving across town when this happened. Across. Stop. When you cross the street, right out here outside the temple, let's say, you, you're going across the street. I am crossing the street at the pedestrian crossing where you see the, the lines in, in the street and they tell you that this is the place for pedestrians what are pedestrians what are pedestrians what Pedestrians. When you are riding a bicycle, what are the things that are you're turning with your feet? You're turning the pedals. What is a pedestrian? 
a walker. A person walking on the street is a pedestrian. And when you see the sign pedestrian crossing, that means it is a place where pedestrians, walkers, can cross the street. Not in the middle anywhere, but at the pedestrian crossing. There's one right out here on the street. Pedestrian crossing. Pedestrian walker, the pedals, the foot, the pedals of the bike. Suddenly stalled, pedestrian crossing, stop for a traffic light. Fixed, fixed way. It's made a fixed way. Fixed, fixed way. Fixed way. Right. Very good. Pause. Pause. A brief pause. We stop a pause. What is applause? A second. Pause. The cat's pause. You saw that. Pause. The cat's pause. Pause. Wait a few seconds. And applause. 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 What is applause? Applause. The audience applauds. Clap. Applause. He, he sang a beautiful song. It was the best song I ever heard. The audience was so happy they applauded for over 10 minutes. Applause. A-P-P-L-A. U-S-C. Applause. Applause. The audience applause. Do you hear the applause? I sure do. They were very happy with that song. Applause, pause, pause. That's why the pronunciation is key. There's a many, many words just a little bit different. Just a little bit different. A traffic light. Not right. But the light. The right light. There's the left light and the right light. Right light. The left light and the right light. Very close, but totally different. Me. The right light, the light on the right. <laughs> is not working. The left light is working. The right light is not working. Okay. Oh, pedestrian. Pedestrian uh, meaning about uh, uh, people, people, people uh, walk on the road. Right, a pedestrian is a person walking. Walking. You have people driving cars and in the street, the main part of the street, and then on the sidewalks, the sidewalks, you have people walking. And those are known as pedestrians because they are walking. They're not riding, they're not flying, they're walking. Pedestrians. Right. If you're flying, you're not a pedestrian. Not only people. Like pedestrian dogs? Yeah, right, okay. Can a dog walk pedestrian? They're pedestrian animals. <laughs> People walk. Yeah, walking people are pedestrians. And that's why you have a pedestrian crossing. It's a place for people walking to cross the street. Otherwise, there'd be people running across the street everywhere. It'd be total chaos. Chaos? 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 
What is chaos? Chaos. 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 Totally out of control. The situation is totally out of control. People running every which way. It, it's like if the building was on fire and everybody just panicked and ran every which way. It'd be chaos. C H A O S. Can I remember? Huh? Cannot remember. Peace right now. Cannot remember. <laughs> oh, yes. Absolute chaos. Can you remember? Chaos. Chaos. I have no idea. Chaos. Just the way it was. The way it is. Yeah, I mean, I agree. It could be K A A O S, but it's not. Chaos. It's just the way it is. K sound. Has a K sound, but it's not spelled with a K. About in the group of demonstration. The group of demonstration. People was really. No, 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 no. The activity is a demonstration. There will be a demonstration by protesters against the government this afternoon at 2 o'clock uh -huh. on the main street. There will be a demonstration. Uh -huh. Who will participate in the demonstration? The demonstrators. Demonstrators. Demonstrators demonstrate in a demonstration. I-O-N-O-R-S. Demonstrators, demonstration. Demonstrate. Say, say my, the same word, but it's talking about the, the event, which is the act of demonstrating, uh -huh. a demonstration. Uh -huh. Or you can have a demonstration at a supermarket. People can show you how a certain product in the supermarket works, like a, like a, a, a microwave or something like that. Ladies and gentlemen, in 15 minutes there will be a demonstration as to how to use the new microwave which we've just started selling today. A demonstration. Open the door, press the button, this and that, whatever. The demonstrator is the one demonstrating how to use the microwave. The demonstration in the street protesting the government's activity is the demonstration, is the act of doing it. The people doing it are the demonstrators. Demonstrators. Not, not the same chaos. Oh, well, if it goes crazy, if it, every, everything goes, you know, people start running in every different direction, absolute chaos broke out during the demonstration when the police arrived and the demonstrators started throwing rocks or bottles or something like that. It was totally chaotic. It was chaos everywhere. Okay, any more questions? These are things that you can study on your own during your free time. Okay. Chaos ensued. When the police arrived, the demonstrators Mm -hmm. At the demonstration, began to throw rocks, and absolute chaos ensued. 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 Chaos ensued. Ensued. E N S U E D. Absolute chaos ensued. It started up. They were throwing rocks and bottles and everything at the police. Out of control. Exactly. Out of control. <laughs> the police fired tear gas. The demonstrators threw rocks and everything was out of control. Chaos. Out of control. 
In Su. In Su. In Started up. The app, when they started throwing the rocks and bottles, absolute chaos ensued. It started up. When they, when they started throwing the rocks, something followed. What followed? Absolute chaos followed. Absolute chaos ends. The end and the tattoo became ensure it made everything calm and became the tattoo Chaos ensued means that everything became crazy, out of control. If calm ensued, that means everything, everything became calm again. Calm. Come started up. Well, chaos would be in a meeting room unless they were throwing bottles at each other. Uh, <laughs> it would not be so much chaos. It could be upset. It could be arguments. Chaos it implies a much wider, greater craziness than, than if you were having an argument in a meeting. There was a, you know, a, 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 you could have an argument. There could be upset. It could be angry people, but it would not necessarily, unless it got people started breaking the windows, throwing desks, and everything. Then you would have chaos. But to merely have a a, a discussion or an argument in, in a peaceful way. I mean, that would not be chaos. It would be an argument, there could be upset, there were people disturbed by what was being said, but it wouldn't be described as chaos unless they started picking up the desks and throwing it through the windows and stuff like that. And then that would be all oh, chaos. It would be the, the bad situation of, by example, have a fire or have a flathead because the people are being in yeah, if there was a total panic, a total no control, everything out of control, lost control of everything, that would be chaos. But you could have, a, a, if you had a fire in a building and the, the alarm went off and people got up and walked out, that would not be chaos. That would be an orderly evacuation. Orderly evacuation as opposed to people knocking each other out of the way and get away. Let me out first. It, no, you know, then it could be chaos. Totally out of control. But to have a controlled evacuation of the building is not chaos. It is an orderly departure of everybody from the fire in the building. What? <laughs> Evacuate. Evacuate. To leave. Completely depart the building. There was a fire at the hotel. They, all the employees and the guests had to immediately evacuate the building. Leave the hotel. Uh, right. Evacuate. 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 Not evacuate, evacuate. Evacuate. All right. Evacuate. Right. That means to depart, completely leave, go. E evacuation. Uh, the, 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 the people evacuated the city because there was great danger of flooding. So they all evacuated. They evacuated the city because there, there was flooding expected. 
So the entire city was evacuated. Evacuated. Rohingya, Rohingya people fighting and Rohingya, Rohingya, Oh, you're talking up there. Yeah. Well, they're evacuating the northern part of Myanmar. Yeah. And they're having trouble doing that. They're being sent back by the other side. So they're trying to evacuate, but in many cases they are not successful. They didn't make it. Evacuate. To clear out. Evacuate means they want to destroy it, but they can't. Destroy? Yeah, destroy it. No, to evacuate refers to the departure from a certain place. If, the, if this temple suddenly was on fire, the warning would be, you must leave now. You must evacuate the building. Not just stand in the hallway. Not go down by the stairway and just stand there and wait. No, evacuate the building. Leave and completely. It may, the building may be destroyed or the fire company will come and put the fire out. But for every person in the building, you must evacuate immediately. Not 10 minutes, not a half an hour, immediately. You want to, oh, okay, go ahead. All right, go ahead. Uh, one so we've been
Well, let's see. What, uh, <laughs>